this video is going to be how to replace the odometer gears in your broken odometer because if you have an E30 it's probably broken as a lot of you know and before you do this make sure to order the correct gears I would really recommend taking the cluster out doing some research figuring out which gears you actually need because there are at least three different types of gears that were used in these cars so you don't want to make a mistake like I did and I just barely got away with it, you'll see it later in the video, but I made a mistake, ordered the wrong gears, because I was, I just clicked on their homepage, and it says right there, E30 gears, but there's really, like, three or four different types, so make sure you know what you're getting. Good luck, have fun, thanks for watching. Alright, there's two screws under your dashboard. It's hard to film like this, but there's a silver one on this side, and there's supposed to be a silver one in the same spot. Mine's missing, that one. I don't think you can see it's missing, but anyways. These are really easy to get out. It's just this big silver thing. You'll feel it with your hands. It has these kind of like quartered edges, you know, like on a coin. So just twist this out. There you go. You left at the stud. I'm gonna flip you back over. So once you get those two bolts out, just be careful this plastic piece comes out. The side's already coming. And just some slight force pop that side. And it will it will come free. Now, after that, you can see that there's these small screws. So where the screwdrivers come in handy. There's one on the right. And there's one on the left. So that's right here and right here. So let's do those two and then there's a few more after that. I like to push my wiper motor thing up. Right here it's kind of in the way. So I push that up. So just get your small screwdriver out. These should be in there not too tight. And when you put them back in you don't need to tighten them too tight. You don't want to break them or strip them. Be a pain in the ass. Yeah, I knew that one was done, son of a bitch. So that side's done. I like to use this um this part of the dash as my kind of organizer. So I'll put these screws there. Put your blinker on or whatever makes it easier. And just like that, the second screw comes out. It's on my pants. Just like that, the second screw comes out. <laughs> and now, we have two more screws. These are going to be really hard to see too, I think. There's one right there, and one right there. It's on the flat part of the top of the actual instrument panel. So, you're going to need a, a shorter screwdriver for these two. Let's see what we got. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Short, dude. So we're just going to undo these two. Now I'm going to put these in the, the middle holder. Don't forget your order. Let's go, it's loose. Yeah! Alright, now this panel just pops out. Four screws, two on the bottom, two on the top. No big deal. Now if your car is properly assembled, these are, two should be screwed in. Once these two are out, that's it. I'm gonna put these in my third, third side. Some people say you should undo your steering wheel. I don't think it matters. I've done it both ways. My old car did it without the steering wheel. And I think it's just as easy to do it with, with it on. I'd rather not have to align my steering wheel and mark it and be worried about it, so. I just leave mine on, as you're gonna see in a second. It's not that bad. So now your cluster is out. You just have to pop these out from the their tabs, and then you'll get access to the whole cluster. You can see it's wanting to come out already. Try to do this one-handed. We got plenty of space. I kind of like having the wheel there, t actually, too, because it gives you something to rest the, the face on. Without it worrying, without you worrying about it falling. So now, if you see the back, there's a blue connector, and there's a couple other connectors. There's 
a white connector over here. So let's just start popping them off. There's a little black tab on top. The tab is designed to pop out first and then it unlocks it. It's too cold for this. Ugh. With some force you can slowly get it started. As you can see, it's barely coming up. I have an idea. It's probably against a lot of you, but I'm gonna try to pry it with a screwdriver. Because my hands are about to be bleeding. There we go, screwdriver extraction. It's your friend. Now once you have that out, just pull up. All right, you see that? This pops out of the board. It's blue to blue, so you don't need to memorize it. Well, you need to memorize it, but you don't need to like write anything down or whatever. My old car had a green one in there, I think. That you definitely needed to undo, that was a late model. I think there's another small connector, so your car might have that, and then there's just this white side. Let's see if the white connector is easier. Come on, baby. Now I'm going for the screwdriver. Alright, I, I popped the black piece out. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Come out, you bugger. You bugger. Yeah, buddy. Here she is. The white connector's out. Now let's see, are we free? Ah uh, yeah, we're free. She's free. So that's it, this car is easier than the late models. You can look in here, there's blue and white. Nothing else, pretty simple on these actually, really simple. And now it's time to start breaking this down. And we're gonna end up replacing the odometer gears, so come with me. All right, now we've got the cluster out of the car. It's time to undo all these small little screws. Don't touch the ones on the back of these two plates yet, because those actually hold in the, the sensors, but all these ones on the outside, like this one. Let's undo those. Now, supposedly these are supposed to just Separate with some work. So let's see. Oh, that was really easy. This just comes out. You literally have one hand down here, one hand on this side, and you just pulled up and came right off. And now we have our whole gauge face. What we need is in here, obviously. So I'm going to set this part aside, we don't need this right now, unless you're switching some bulbs or something you won't need this part. So, And now it is time to remove the four screws on the back of your speedo. These are a bit smaller so you want your little little guys. Alright, we got the four screws out, this should just wiggle out, you see. This just comes out really easily. Now since we don't need the rest of this part I'm going to set that back. And we can focus on the speedometer, the odometer combo. Alright, so here are the odometer gears. Not sure if you'll be able to tell, but mine are broken. The small one's broken on this side. So, there's two screws we need to undo. These are uh, flathead. One right there, one right there. So let's get those those bad boys out of here. All right, you got both those out. I think all we have to do is remove some little pin things, like this yellow thing. It's actually a separate entity from the gear. Let me see if I can pull that out. All right, yeah. So it used to work like this, get this mental image in your mind in case it breaks, in case it falls apart. You have the white gear on the left, the two geared black gear on the right. There's two teeth part of that black one on the bottom right, so it goes white, then double gear, then orange, then black again. So we're going to be replacing the orange and black and this small broken brown one, the drive gear. I'm just going to take off the gears. The two I need to replace. Just pop that off. Now I'm just gonna undo that. 
and see if I can just pop this off. Came right out, really easy. You need to save this this piece on top. Mine was a bit stuck, but you just need to save that piece on top of the gear. I'm gonna put this drive pin back in, back into the white gear. I'm going for this little guy. All right, we ran into a problem. Some of the gear stuck to the um, stuck to the drive pin, so I'm gonna try to MacGyver it out. Disintegrate it around it, basically. The broken gear is really stuck, so I have an idea. I'll be right back. I'm gonna Dremel this. Hopefully it's in the view of the camera. It looks like it's gonna be. I got down to some of the pin. So let's see if it'll slide off now. There we go, baby. Slid right off. I didn't dremel it sideways. I dremeled it like I scraped at it. All right, now let's put in the new gears. So make sure you remember, it was orange on the white. Orange on the white and black on the left. All the new gears are white, so we're gonna have to match them up. Got these from Garagistic for uh, $15. Much cheaper than they used to be. Oh, and it comes with the new yellow piece. That's pretty nice. So let's see what we got. All right, if you match, if you line them up, you'll be able to figure out which is which. These two fit perfectly together, and these two fit perfectly together. So just line them up. It'll make it easier than counting the teeth because that's a pain in the ass. Now let's go back to the actual gauge. Alright, so after some deliberation, like the beginning of the video I told you guys, I ordered the wrong gears. These two gears are the same though. And the only one that's still broken is the orange one. There's a few teeth on here somewhere that are a bit... Let me see if I can find them. They're a bit broken but it makes the connection all the way around. So I'm just gonna, oh, they're here they are. But it still makes the connection, so I'm gonna put this back in my car if it takes a poop again. I'm just gonna order the real ones, all four. As you can see, this is what I really should have bought. Moto meter for with all four gears is 30 bucks. I ordered the $17 set for the VDO. I'm pretty sure it's late model, so yeah. Once it's all together, you're just going to put it back together. I'll show you that. And then put it back in your car, and it should be mint. Alright, this part isn't as important, so I'm just going to go through it. So, first things first, you're going to put this plate back on. These two clips are orientated towards the bottom. Alright, it just pops in just like that, nice and easy. Take your two flat heads, put them in their spot. And that's that for that step, you're all good. Alright, now it's time to put this back in the cluster. That just goes in there like that. Be careful when you're flipping it not to drop it. Now grab your four small screws. So just keep pushing down and they'll still slowly meet. Alright, those four are all tightened up. Now Alright, once you flip the gauges over, everything in place, it's time to put all the screws back into their holes around the cluster, and don't forget the, the middle one. Once you have the cluster back together, all 11 screws and uh, all 4 screws in the back of the actual speedo. It shouldn't be falling apart on you, it should be solid. We're going to put it back in the car. It's really late right now, so I'm going to put it back in the car tomorrow. I'll film that too. And I'll take you for a drive just to show you that it actually works. And yeah, that's how you do it. So make sure you get the right gears. You're going to need some small screwdrivers, a small Phillips head. 
you're going to need a medium Phillips head or a regular Phillips head, a small Phillips head, and um, a small flat head. And that's really the only tools you need for this job. It's not hard. It's pretty inexpensive and it's a great tool so you know how far you've gone between oil changes and all that stuff. It takes out the guesswork. It keeps your car's true originality and how many miles is actually on the engine. Testament of time with these cars. So, uh, good luck. I might put this at the end of the video, but um, that's how you do it.